you know, this whole thing with, with it's John and Kate plus eight, right? And we've been watching on television their like court, you know, their like love story and their children, and now they're breaking up, and it's because of. I think part of the big reasons is because of high order multiple birth. What do you think about that? Well, high order multiple births is uh, is very risky, dangerous business. Uh, when I first got involved with infertility back in 1985 at the Jones Institute, one of my first favorite patients got pregnant with quadruplets. Wow. And uh, this, this couple was very close with me at the time. And I, w I kind of experienced with them the difficulties during the pregnancy and, uh, and the birth but then the problems that they ran into uh, after the babies were born, the hospitalizations, the operations, uh, all the difficulties that they went through caused a tremendous stress and, and took a toll on their lives and on their marriage. Right. And even when um, everything else went fine, there was the stress of raising all those, all those children and they did not all have a happy end. And right. in fact, some of those marriages did not survive. Many of those marriages did not survive. Right. And I think that the dissolution of the marriages is something that people don't talk about very much. You know, they, they talk about you know, the children having low birth weight, and, you know, various other health problems, and even, you know, infant mortality. But they don't talk about what happens to these families, that these children have then you know, oftentimes have parents are divorced because they can't they can't hold the family unit together, and that's really an unspoken tragedy of um, high order multiple birth. And you know, when I was looking at all the various programs that East Coast Fertility is is offering, I saw a program that really spoke to your passion around reducing high order multiple birth, and that is the um, single embryo transfer program that you're offering now, which I think is really unusual. Can you, tell, can you tell me a little bit about that? It was because of the, uh, the guilt that I felt having been involved with the creation of these multiple pregnancies and the problems and stresses that I had seen that my patients had gone through that I, I took it to heart and I swore that I would never again be involved with a multiple pregnancy more than twins. 